Now, if you're still looking for a Halloween costume, listen up. I am here with costumers Melody Sexton and Henry Benito. They are here with some last-minute costume ideas. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi. Hi. Wow. <laughs> great, great costumes, both of you. Um, before we get to the list of questions here, I have to ask you, I've never heard of a costumer. Um, who can tell me, I mean, is, does that mean people can hire you to create their costume? Is that what a yeah, costumer is? Yeah, pretty much. Yes, we have people doing a season of Halloween. Halloweens okay. or, uh, you know, uh, cosplay whatsoever. But, okay. Yeah. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, when you think of Halloween, you immediately think of costumes, but it's not the only time of year that someone would want or need a costume, right? Right. There's um, also, there's like, you know, all these uh, cosplay events such as, uh, you know, like Comic Con, you know. Amazing con, all kind of cons. Yeah, you know, there are lots of theme much. parties throughout the year, so right. not just for Halloween. Um, where do you get your uh, ideas for the makeup? Because both of your the makeup is so amazing. So most of my ideas come from social media or other makeup artists who are out there and just pushing the limits and boundaries. So not only um, focusing on like the really gory stuff. So I kind of went with like a pretty pop art zombie. So I like to try things different. And did you do this yourself? Yes, this morning, very wow. early. <laughs> <laughs> that must be hard to do on yourself, too, right? Those, those are challenges. How did you do your, your face here? Actually, I made, I made a mold from a rigid wrap and plaster of Paris and actually just kind of sculpt clay on it and just mold it out with rigid wrap again. Then okay. You know, just mold it's, it out. It's excellent. Can you turn your head? I want to have everybody see your ears, too. That is amazing. Do you guys ever enter Halloween contests? Because I would think, hands down, you guys would be the winners. <laughs> Actually, pretty funny. We, we just did a, a zombie crawl. He got first, and I got second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I mean, both of your costumes are so amazing. Um, what are you guys dressing up as for Hallabaloo? I'm just thinking probably a mummy or whatnot. You know, something, I don't know, out of the ordinary. Well, mu everybody has the same idea of just mummy, you know, wrap yourself up with gauze. I'm just going to try to make it just pop out just a little more. Okay, great. Hello, Baloo. Of course, we had an interview about it yesterday, but it's a big event happening uh, this Saturday starting at 4.30. If you'd like to see that interview again, you can go to our website. Um, okay, now we want to get some tips from you guys on last-minute costume ideas. I believe we have some models here. So let's bring in our first model. Tell us who, who we have here. So this is my friend. She This is her second time attending Hollabaloo. And she put her, this costume together with sewing an old t-shirt and a prom dress and going over it with acrylic paint, which you can find in any Longs or Walmart. Um, very cheap and expensive. And then the face makeup, that's just, again, from Longs or Walmart, any very affordable um, face makeup that you can find anywhere, really. Terrific. And what about our second? Wow, this costume is amazing. All right, this is um, my niece, Drama. <laughs> <laughs> she got those, uh, these sticks of reeds from uh, Ben Franklin and whatnot. And she's using some leg warmers, which is built for go-go dancers and uh, <laughs> the horns right here is fun noodles she has a old bicycle helmet that's inside of that mass of ear and a and a jabberwocky mask so plain jabberwocky mask in there then i kind of sculpted it use some uh, spray foam sculpt it out and put some uh, lightweight clay in there that is amazing and oh my gosh this is and Lisa our third model Tuba. she's uh, lady liberty regular bed sheet right here wig you can get any of these makeups in any uh, type of uh, drugstore or whatnot and just apply it to regular t-shirt some sandals. This is great. I mean, it, it looks so impressive, but when you look at it, when you break it down, you know, you've got like a gray sheet, a gray t-shirt, silver makeup, long wig. I mean, it's all very doable, it's, right? It's doable. It's doable. It's okay. just the time. It's sure. Just working on it. A little out. bit of time. And yeah. you know what? It's only Wednesday. You have time, right? How That's a lot of time. Yes. It's a lot of time. Well, thank you both for being here. Uh, we're going to have the information on our website mm -hmm. um, because there are different costuming groups out there. So if you need some help, you can go to the experts. Thank you so much for being with us and you three look amazing. Amazing.